A CBS4 News consumer alert now. An old scam is making a comeback. It's called an overpayment scam. Criminals promise victims money, but end up ripping them off. Recent college grad Jordan Lyle went online searching for work as a nanny while looking for a job as a broadcast journalist. She advertised her services on a popular website and quickly received an offer. The picture was really sweet. A single mother moving to the area said she would pay $20 an hour for Lyle to babysit her wheelchair-bound child. What Lyle didn't know, the picture was a fake, and so was the job. A con artist posing as the mother offered to give her $1,900 up front. The scammer told Lyle to deposit the check at her bank, keep $250 for herself, then put the balance in a separate account to buy a new wheelchair. Then she said, I need you to take out the money and then go deposit it into another bank. And that's where I thought, this is weird. It was the start of an overpayment scam. It's a fake check. And what they've done is there's no money there. And in the end, you end up covering the check. Identity theft and scam expert Adam Levin says that the scheme is being reported across the country. Here's how it works. A con artist sends a check for $1,000, asks the victim to deposit it, keep 200 for themselves, and wire 800 back to the scammer. A few days later, the bank realizes the check is a fake, and now the victim is on the hook for the full $1,000. Lyle was immediately suspicious and never sent any money. She's now warning others so they don't fall in the overpayment trap. Now, authorities say that it's difficult to catch con artists behind these scams because they usually use fake names and contact information.